Lynn. All right, guys, welcome to our team call. It is Sunday, September 20th. Um, and tonight, I really just want to do like a regroup with all of you guys and see because um, so far, since we changed the schedule of how we were going to run things, we've had our clean eating group, we've had our challenge group start, and it's already um, a week in. Okay, they're on day seven today. Um, and then tomorrow, our coach open house starts. So I just kind of wanted to see um, if you guys have any input on what has gone good, what could be changed. Um, anything that we need to um, do to focus on, like even even inviting um, to the Coach Open House uh, tomorrow, you know what I mean? As long as they're in there tomorrow in time to watch the video that's in there tomorrow, you know what I mean? Then they're still good to go. Um, and I also wanted to get your input on uh, one of the gals, um, in my mastermind group she runs her challenge groups and she i don't know if she does clean eating groups or not um but she's running coach open houses every monday so every monday starts a new coach open house um so i kind of wanted to get you guys's input on that too so you know it's to me inviting to or at least getting people to say yes to the free clean eating group, yes to the coach open house because it's free, you know what I mean? They don't have to invest anything other than, sure, go ahead and put me in the group, you know what I mean, sort of thing. Um, so I don't know if that's something that we would wanna do every week or every other week or, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm curious to see what comes of this coaching uh, sneak peek. Um, like you said, I've had really, really good luck uh, getting yeses and, and sticking with inviting uh, for this group. I've got a lot of traffic over it. I've got a lot of people in there. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, that's, that's fine and dandy, but if it's just a bunch of people that aren't really that interested or, you know, aren't right. investing that much then then maybe it's not such a great thing but right it, it is something to invite to mm -hmm. it's very easy to invite to and it's very easy to get a yes there's no obligation there's no money you know just come check out what we do and a lot of people are on board with that there's yep. very few people that tell me no so exactly. i enjoy that aspect of it <laughs> exactly um well and the thing is is like uh if if they go through and they do watch all the videos for each day um and by the end of the friday if they're not like 100 percent ready to get going then you probably don't want them on your team anyway you know what i mean because even if you did like and and yes you should follow up with them you know when we're done um but if if they're not, you know, gonna give commitment right from the get go and it's new and exciting and everything, um, I don't know if they would do a whole lot on your team. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those things that it's it's nice that we get to pick who we want our coworkers to be. And sometimes I've come across people that I'm like, Hmm, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like there's there's some people that I just I just don't know if I would want to have on my team to deal with every 30 minutes or something. <laughs> you know what I'm that's, talking that's, about? That's that's why I say I'd, I'd like to see what you know what comes of this. Yeah, what 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 the other end looks like. I mean, right, exactly. That, that'll kind of tell us whether or not we want to do it again like, or not. So, like you said, getting some of the yeses for that group that builds confidence and inviting for other stuff too. So, I mean, it's I think it's good. Well, and it's good because it, you feel. I, I don't know about you guys. I feel like I'm getting momentum. Mm -hmm. you know, it, it's 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 constantly on my mind. I'm pushing harder. I mean, I spent 
what, what time did I get on this? I, I'll bet you I spent seven or eight hours on the computer today getting everything in order for my, you know, automatic CEO, uh, my YouTube channel, my blog. I did a bunch of training videos. I watched some Diamond Dash free calls. You know, and I, it's just the whole time I'm sitting there and I'm throwing out, talking to people on Messenger and on text messages and stuff about this this coach group. And it's, I mean, it's generated such a positive vibe for me that that it's really feels like it's pushing me harder. And I like that. Yeah, that's good. That is good. And um, honestly, everybody that's done, that I've talked to that's done these coach open houses um, have only had good things to say. You know what I mean? The gal in my mastermind group, she said that um, very rarely does she get somebody who decides they don't want to be a coach. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? If you're like 99% of the people that go through your coach open house decide they want to be a coach, that would be sweet, you know? That'd be really sweet. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so, yeah, so what do you guys, Bridget and Nate and Trina, think? I'm, I'm with Matt. I'd like to see how this week goes. I'll throw it out there. I, I, I think every two weeks would be pretty awesome. Um, a weekly, a weekly right now, um, with how I have myself scheduled out, I think I'll end up dropping the ball somewhere else too hard on a weekly basis, you know, um, just inviting for, for the, for this group, you know, I, I, I don't know, I, a down, a down week to make sure that I'm focusing on all the right things. I think, I think I'll, I'll screw myself up too bad. If I'm focusing on this on a weekly basis, I'll, I'll miss my, my focus will be on, on getting into this group as opposed to inviting for challenges and, and things of that nature. I don't want to miss the wrong people. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, what if I yeah. with his comments, especially like with younger kids, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> Um, I know for me, like I get overwhelmed just with with inviting for one thing a week, one thing at a time. So if I like how it's set up right now, to where we invite to like a challenge group one week and a clean eating group one week, and then the coaches group the next week, because I feel like it's more spread out, I guess, and then I can get more people into those groups into all of them. Yeah. And then I'll, I feel more organized that way. Yeah. Okay. Um, what? Because I was just, I just had a thought. What if we um, keep the schedule the way that it is? And if the coach open house this week goes really well, then we'll start doing a coach open house the same week as the clean eating group. That way you can invite to the clean eating group and you can invite to the coach open house group that week too. So, um, cause you know, inviting to the clean eating group, um, is good, but I think the end result coming out of the coach open house, I think is going to be better than the result from coming out of the clean eating group and getting them into a challenge group. Are you saying in Just, addition to the the already scheduled mm -hmm. coach group? So yeah. we, you're, you're essentially running two of them. It's just one of them is going to overlap the same week as the clean eating group. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's if this week goes good, you know what I mean? Which I think it will. So, um, and honestly, you guys, I, I love all the videos. Nate, I don't have yours yet. And Bridget, I don't have yours yet either. Um, I love these guys' videos <laughs> and everybody else's. I'm stressing there. about mine. I'm sorry. Oh, don't stress about it. Um, it's day five. It's, it's, it's actually, I've got to have a good close or I'm going to screw the whole thing up, right? <laughs> close. <laughs> well, we get together and I'll interview you a question. And answer. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'll be a question and answer. Um, if it's too stressful, I can do that day and you can do a success story. <laughs> No, it's fine. I just got to sit down and put it all together. I've got I've got a lot of notes on on where 
um, I think would be good to go with it. I just got to start putting it all together and feel comfortable. Good, good. Let, let, just real quick, um, I'm going to look and see if there was, for some reason, I was looking through um, my notes for the Coach Open House, and I was thinking there was something else I wish I would have put on there for you to say. Um, I don't know. Make, I, make I, a note. Make a note and send it to me. Yeah, if I figure it out, I'll, I'll message you. But I did um, think, because Scott still needs to do his too. So I think him and I are going to do Thursdays together. Um, and I think on his, I'm going to add in all the fun that we have at Summit, all the fun that we have at our free vacations, all that good stuff too. Because I think that... Oh, you know, you know how many people we have talked to that maybe even didn't even go on their honeymoon and hasn't even been on a trip, a couple's trip, like a tropical couple's trip by themselves. There's so many people that don't get the opportunity to experience stuff like that. And so, you know, to tell them, hey, you know, you come in and you help other people and you get to go on this free vacation? Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Um, but I think I might add it into my video. I, I wanted to uh, uh, stress the importance of get being, becoming an Emerald, which is two coaches, and how they can get to Emerald, including their spouse and one other family member or friend or something as fast as they can. Um, and also success starters that they can get a free ticket to summit. But I thought that those would be good to include into our videos too. So I'll, I'll take care of those ones. Um, but yeah, so, so, um, on the clean eating group, is there anything you guys, um, saw that was good, anything that you saw that needed changed, um, any input on that so that I can change it before our next one starts. Well, I guess we would start inviting for it the next week. Next week. Yeah, the week of the 28th. So any input or did you guys just think that it was all good? No issues here. Okay. I thought it was good. Okay. Good, good. Okay. I just didn't know if you guys had gotten any feedback from any of the people that you had in there um, and had any comments or anything like that on everything. The only thing was, I think the main problem was having them be able to get and find and print their nutrition plan. <laughs> I'm like, it's in there like three places. It's in a Google Drive. It's in the files. It's now copy and pasted into an actual file. So um, well, that's that's one thing I would throw out. There's I'm I'm actually kind of blown away at how many people don't know that there's files that they can go look at and and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of people that are just they see they see the post for the day. They don't they don't understand the pin posts or any of that. So right. Just, I mean, they're just not group savvy when it comes to the Facebook stuff. Right, exactly. And that's why I thought rather than actually making it a file, adding the link in the daily post for the one that I have on Google Drive. But for some reason, I swear, it was probably like, I don't know. I don't know if it was 50-50, but some people were getting it and some people weren't. And I couldn't pinpoint like, why these guys get it and why these guys don't like you know what i mean so i don't know if it's their certain computer if they were trying it from their phone yeah phone you know i don't i don't know where the disconnect was between getting the file but i don't know <laughs> have um, a gmail account in order to sign into a google, google drive to get access to Oh, you do? Hmm. I have to have an audio, whatever that audio account is, to get the books off your drive, too. Google Drive? Mm 
Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> I have no idea. It's just there for me. It just works. <laughs> it just works. It just works. Um, oh, crazy. Well, I wonder, uh, so you guys all probably have a Google, a Google account then now, right? I do now. <laughs> if, if you've gotten on my Google Drive. Um, because for the Coach Open House, I was, I not was going to, I did put the videos in on Google Drive. Um, I still have them all on my computer. Um, but I wonder, I wonder who doesn't have a Google account or if we can even just sign out of our account and check and see what it looks like. Cause I, I have a test group where I can test and make sure that my posts are scheduling and what they look like when they come up. Um, so on my end, I can see the video just fine and you just push the play button and it's there. Um, but if somebody doesn't have a Google, a Google Drive or a Google account, I don't know now if they'll be able to see them. And um, my YouTube account got uh, temporarily <laughs> like not really suspended, but I don't know. I, so I can't post any um, any uh, unlisted files anymore. So if I put them on my YouTube channel, they're, they're going to be on my YouTube channel, which I guess would be fine. Um, I guess, you know, there's nothing in there that we're trying to keep secret or anything like that, I guess. But I don't know, which, I don't know. Maybe that'll be the way to go. Because <laughs> I know everybody can see YouTube videos. Um, I'm just trying to think of, of ease of posting them for the each day if we're doing it every month or every two weeks, you know what I mean? So that I'm not ha actually having to get the file and save all those videos onto my computer. 250 gigs um, goes away really fast with me, I guess. So. <laughs> I'm on the same boat. I had my, uh, my phone crash, so. I had to do a factory reset on that thing. And then in doing that, I screwed up half my accounts on my computer and oh, uh, it's been, a, it's been a rough last three days. Oh no, that's no fun at all. No fun but at yeah, all. But yeah, no, 250 gig is just gone just like that. I know, I swear, seriously is. Um, hmm. Okay, well I'll figure out tonight or I guess I don't need to schedule the post for tomorrow. I can actually just post it and post the video on there, but I'm going to have to figure out if somebody that doesn't have a Google, a Gmail account can see the videos that I post in the groups. Now, um, are you redirecting them to Google drive? Um, no, in the, um, here, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, let me share. Okay, can you guys see my desk, my desktop? Yep. Okay, yeah, see, look at all you guys right here. Do, 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 do. Um, okay, so in, this is what it looks like. Oh, wait, I gotta find that group because I don't have it as one of my favorites because I don't go in there very often. Do you guys see test? Testing, testing, testing. Oh, oh, there, it the top. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Yeah. So this is what it looks like when I post the link to it on Google Drive. See? Okay. Um, so the video comes up. Yeah. See, and then I just. Okay. And that should be all right. You know. Keep pressing it, but it's not playing. Hey, yeah, guys. See? Guess what? Yeah, so, and that's not even, that was just a video. That was one for uh, the challenge group <laughs> that I just randomly posted in there because I wanted to see what it would look like um, from my, because see, in my Google, I've got everybody's here. Um, and when you go into here, each, because let me show you what I did. I'll have to go Trina's. 
right. I don't necessarily need to play it. Okay, so uh, get shareable link and copy that. And then back into my testing, testing. Hi. See, this is, you know what I mean? It, it comes up like, oh, I wonder why it's, is it gonna have that black bar across the top the whole time? Hey everyone, I'm um, Coach Trina, and I'm very grateful for this opportunity yeah, that looks to good. share with you. That looks good. Okay, so yeah, do you see what I mean? So if I if the link just gets posted, it brings it up. So I, I don't know. Have a problem with that then. Okay, I think I think we'll just go with it, and if anybody says anything tomorrow, then I'll figure out something different to do for. Um, for Tuesdays, I'll just post the regular video tomorrow if anybody says, I don't see a video or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so um, what do you guys think? You excited for the group to start tomorrow? I am. Yeah, I'm super excited for it. So it'll be good. Um, does anybody have, uh, Anything else they want to add to or anything that you guys have questions about? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Everybody's just here to stick their tongues out at me and just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next week I'll wear a clown suit, okay? <laughs> I'll hold you to it. Oh, shoot. Halloween's coming. I don't have one. <laughs> Uh, okay, do, makeup do you have one? Oh yes, I could do clown makeup. I totally could. Um, there you go. But that would be it. Oh, and then we do have that wig hair. Yeah. So I get. I guess I could come up with something. I'm sure. <laughs> so maybe I, I haven't dug far enough. But do you have a shared calendar posted some somewhere that that has what is coming up in the next few weeks? Because I've got myself so out of whack on things. I don't know what I'm inviting for. Don't, don't know what you're inviting for. Um, yes and no at the same time. I have our template. Um, let me show you this one. Can you right. See that one? Yeah. That one's just built into my desk. It's pretty fancy. Um, I have that one, but I don't have one. I was, I was hoping that on Asana, I could use the calendar on it, um, but Julie's the only one that told me that she looked at it and she said that she couldn't see anything on the calendar. So, and you couldn't see anything on there either, Trina. So I don't know um, if I'm just missing something, but I don't know. I probably should just go through and make up like, three calendars or two maybe even just two months in advance I'll finish out September October November maybe December just go throughout the whole rest of the year and put put in all the things that I need to do I wonder if um I was just even, having, just, even having just a thought. week one one through five on you know for for November week one is this group week two is this group week three is this group you know, yeah. just, just something simple and easy. Okay. Uh, I don't, I don't personally want to um, have to use your, your groups, you know, for, for everything. It's, I don't feel it's my, my place to piggyback off everything you do. I think I need to be doing my own work too. Um, but the other side is I'm in, um, I've been, I've been in a, another ladies group for, I think I'm three months in now and there's, we have seven coaches in there and we have in the ballpark of 250 um, challengers oh, and wow. the interaction side, having, having multiple coaches and mul multiple um, challengers in that, the, the, um, the interaction is phenomenal. Right. You know? 
So I, I, I like multi-group challenge groups. I just, I just don't want, I, I don't want to put it across that you feel like you have to carry the ball on everything that we're doing either. Yeah. No. It's all set up and done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It is. It really is. And, you know, once you have the content for a group, it really does only take five to 10 minutes to get a whole group set up. You know what I mean? So it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but I, I do wonder sometimes, you know, I always say it's nice that you guys don't have to worry about doing all of this so that you can have more time to invite. Um, but at the same time, I think when you've got more time and more skin in the game, you feel more excitement and more um, pressure to invite to it. You know what I mean? So it's, it's kind of one of those, I don't know really which way is the best way. I don't know. So. Well, I, you know, this, it, it, it may be only my perception of it, but I don't, I don't like to invite a bunch of guys in and hand them off to somebody else. You know, um, I think, I think it's, I, I feel it's unprofessional for me not to have that personal involvement with those guys in that challenge group um, and handing it straight off to somebody else allows, allows that feeling to go, you know, yep, I invited you in, here you are, and now you're Megan's problem, you know, right. that, that type of deal, so. Right. Yeah, I could see that, but at the same time, you could always just make sure, you know, if they know that you're in there, and they know right. that you're there watching and helping and commenting, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that they're going to feel like you just stuffed them in a group and then abandoned them, you know what I mean? Right. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What else was I gonna say? Get up, Nathan. Say what? <laughs> no, nothing. I said, I shut up, Nathan. Is that what you're gonna say? Nathan, no, I would never say that. Out loud. <laughs> Not out loud. Oh. <laughs> Every time she ever says shut up, it has Scott in the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> or Paul. If she's growling. If she's growling. Or the kids sometimes. <laughs> Shh. I need some quiet. Um, oh, yeah. As far as calendars go, yeah, I will just do like a, um, a easy calendar that's got just what we're doing each week throughout the rest of the year. And I'll do it in a file so that I can go in and edit anytime I need to. So does that sound good? Because like I can, I can go through and tell you what I've got planned, but who's to say, you know, next week I might have something completely different else planned to do too. I don't know. <laughs> so. No, it works. Just, just a basic, just a basic something to look at. Keep on track. Okay. That sounds good. And yeah. Is there anything else? Do you have anything? Nope. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, oh, one thing. Uh, when I was talking to Julie um, on our one-on-one -on -one Zoom call, uh, and she's, she's got enough coaches to be diamond. She just doesn't have her emeralds yet, right? Um, so I told her, I said, okay, get your coaches into this coach open house and then have them start inviting people into this coach open house. And she was like, Oh, I didn't even think about it. You know, cause right. If you want emeralds, they have to have two coaches, which means they have to be inviting people in as coaches. So that's another thing. If you have any, any of your coaches that should be inviting to these, it's not too late, you know, and really, even if they came in at the end of the week and went through and just watched all the, because I'll label them day one, part one, day two, you know what I mean, all that good stuff. They could really come in any time into that group and some content. So anyhow, let your coaches know that they can invite into that group as well. Okay. Okay. Um. Good? Okay.
Good deal. All right, you guys have a good night and I'll see you guys all in the group tomorrow. Nate, get your movie to me as soon as you can. And same with you, Bridget. Okay. Don't stress it. Yeah, yeah, don't <laughs> stress it. It's not like anything that needs to be stressed. And just so that you don't feel too much pressure, Nate, I will probably make one to post after yours, wrapping the whole thing up. So you're good. Okay. <laughs> All right. You yeah. guys have a good night and I'll see you next week. Uh, okay. Faith love for some of you, a couple of you and next week on our zoom call for the rest of you. Okay. Awesome. Thanks guys. <laughs> All right guys. See you later. Yeah.